Good morning everybody and welcome to Living Uniquely You and myself Sharon Brown. I hope you are all doing well on this Tuesday morning. Oh my god I nearly forgot what day it was. Um, hard to believe it's after being bank holiday and it's Tuesday already. This week is just going to fly in. I am coming in today to help you let go of the past four months. We have stepped into May. May is all about action but action with ease and flow. Hi Yvonne, hi Michelle. So it's about allowing us to go into that vibration of ease and flow but also having that energy of action behind us. So March was all about our, no sorry March, mother God, um, May was all April was all about freedom. So now we have the freedom and things are starting to open up and we're really starting to get back into that flow of life. So it's allowing us to take the action that needs to be taken, but it's not harsh action. It's ease and flow. It's about just settling, slowly settling back into things, hi Emer, and allowing you just to go with that ease and flow. Be like the stream, just flow. Literally just flow. So it's allowing us to really, really just be ourselves. Yes, there is action required because we have been doing a lot of work over the past couple of months. So now is the time to really start seeing what we want, what we we don't want and allowing us to take the action to move forward. There's no more stagnant energy around. So really, really, it's time to move forward, but not the harsh moving forward. There's no pushing anymore. That pushing energy is gone. That's an old 3D energy that is gone. So we need to just bring in that ease and flow. So I'm going to bring in some light codes. I feel I need to do the drums this morning to really let us go what we're holding on to from the past four months. The fa past four months have been quite up and down a roller coaster, especially the first three months were really hard, harsh energy this year. But that's all to do with what's going on on a collective level. And then we had that little bit of freedom, but that freedom brought a lot of um, anxiety and fear into us. And now we're bringing in that ease and flow. So we will, some of us will have really have to hold on tight, just to allow ourselves to go with that ease and flow. But trust, I'm getting, I just keep hearing trust and just allow, get out of the head, drop into the heart and everything will be fine. So just take a deep breath in. Calling all your energy back from people, places, situations, time and space. All the way back and as it's coming back, allowing it to go through that divine filter of pure love and light. Calling yourself all the way back, all the way back through that divine filter of pure love and light. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And allowing your energy to just drop into you. So allowing you drop into you. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And acknowledging how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything. And breathe out. Bring your awareness to your heart and as you bring your awareness to your heart, visualise to be golden and it's going to go to your heart chakra, into your solar plex, into your navel, your sacral chakra, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor, right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling your energy and Mother Earth's energy combining as one and feeling this energy move up into your earth star chakra, pulling your earth star chakra all the way down, down, down right down into that centre of the crystalline grid. All the way down. 
allowing you to fully, fully drop in to the crystalline grid. Allowing you to fully anchor your energy in, feeling your roots wrap around the crystalline grid. Just allowing you to fully, fully settle in. Feeling the second part of the grid come up to fully seal in your earth star chakra. Feeling this energy move up into your feet, your legs, your hips, your sacral chakra, your solar plex and your heart centre. Doing a 360 degree around your heart centre. Calling in the energy from source. Pure, unconditional love of the highest consciousness coming straight down into your stellar gateway. Clearing anything that's stopping you from having divine connection. Into your soul star chakra so you can see, sense and feel your true soul's path and allowing that to fully illuminate in front of you. Into your causal chakra so your intuition can be fully heightened. Into the crown of your head so you can think more clearly. Into your third eye so you can see more clearly. Into your ear chakra so you can hear divine guidance. Into your throat chakra so you can speak your truth with pure love and light. Into the higher heart, connecting into that universal energy of 5G and allowing you to fully anchor that within your life and body. Into your heart. So you can love you. You can see your beauty inside and out. Into your solar plex so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies. Allowing them to fully balance within the body. And fully accepting yourself no matter what. Into your navel chakra so you can connect into that universal energy of oneness and allowing you to fully anchor that within your body. Oneness to all. Into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine feminine energies allowing them to fully balance within the body. And remembering and reawakening your true gifts and talents, who you truly are. <clears throat> Into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer. Into your hips, your legs and your feet so you can take any necessary steps forward. Right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling this energy move up into your feet your root and your heart doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra. Feeling your energy, Mother Earth's energy and Father Sky's energy combining as one. I'm feeling this energy move to every part of your body, every part of your being. Right down to that zero point, into that stillness, into that oneness. Nobody needs anything from you. Nobody wants anything from you. This is your time and your space. Just allowing you to let go of all that's been going on for the past four months. Any binds, any contracts, any stories that are holding you to people, places, situations that no longer serve you for the highest good of all concerned. We can't clear, delete, sorry from all time, space, backwards and forwards, multi-dimensional to all timelines, past, present and future.
yourself back and cross your hands over your knees now to fully, fully anchor that energy in. How you current? God, I could have stayed there all day. Whoa, I felt myself really, really drifting off there. Really going deep, deep, deep within. Yeah, so it's all about action, but the action is with ease and flow for me. Um, yeah, so it's just allowing yourself to see what needs to be and don't be pushing. Just allowing it to come to you instead of you going out to get it. I'm going to pull a Wisdom of Change card for the month of May and see what changes because there's a lot of changes coming in in the next six months anyway I, I'm feeling oh there you go jumped out the pack for me consistent change I think we had this before hi Elisa the only consistent Consistent in life is change with a sweet dilemma. We resist change, yet we seek the way out of our circumstances and crave the, to know ourselves better. In the face of change, we are excited and expectant. We become a searcher, curious to know the way forward. This card is inviting you to remember that the journey is the destination. It is not where you are going, but who we become along the way. Observe that in the space of all your inherent possibilities. You are free. Life is change, growth and opportunity. Choose wisely. My right hand is tingling. So just allowing that right hand, right hand. to do with the male. male. So it's just what I feel it's bringing in balance. Michelle, it's allowing the right side to stop a little bit and just allowing the the left side to catch up. That's what I'm getting for you. So it's about the change. So it's really allowing us to step into the changes that are coming. Not with force. Just allow. Really, really allow. And just be. That's what I'm getting. That's I just feel... It's about stop running around like headless chickens and just be. That's exactly what I'm after. Actually, seeing a load of chickens with no heads on them. But anyway, that's what I'm after seeing. That's how I got headless chickens. So um, yeah. So it's it's like that. Just allow. Just go into that ease and that flow, and just allowing yourself like the river flow. And he bumps along the way. Go over them or around them. That's all we can do. Have a magical Tuesday, guys. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Thank you for watching this and thank you for watching the replay. And of course, I have a portal tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 5th of May and it's a portal at 5.05 p.m. is our time tomorrow night. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm looking forward to bringing in that energy. Um, yeah, I'm still laughing at the headless chickens, but look, that's that's just me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to bringing in that energy tomorrow because it is about the action and the ease and the flow. So have a magical day. If you would like to join me on that portal, please DM me and I will send you the information. It's 22 22 per month. It's a subscription and there is no... You can join for one month or you can stay in it. It's up to yourself. So have a magical day, guys. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye.